And welcome to your Gold Market Update for today, the 29th of April 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we had a very strong session in the US. We closed towards the highs. And this was despite some very mixed data before the market opened, including some GDP numbers which missed expectations and some jobs numbers which were a bit, bit ordinary to be honest. Uh, we saw the Nasdaq outperform significantly and that was really on the back of earnings that we'd had the previous day after the bell. However, after the bell earnings last night were less positive with Apple and Amazon both missing expectations and we're seeing US futures lower as a result of those tech earnings. Asian markets are following that strong US lead however with further gains on top of what was gained yesterday and European markets are expected to open mildly higher. Quite remarkably, the US dollar index continues to move higher again. We're now at four-year highs. Really, the Japanese yen was the culprit after the Bank of Japan were very dovish in their comments, suggested that GDP would not be as strong as expected. And really, the Japanese yen was weak across every currency, as we referenced may be the case yesterday. Gold recovered throughout the day, but still below 1900, which is a, obviously a psychological key level. Copper and all traded near neutral. Copper still below 450 all still trading around about $105 on the Brent contract. And we're seeing the VIX surprisingly still high despite that equity strength, still over 28 as we start the Asian session. Bitcoin is still in a range around about 39,000. And earnings obviously continue next week, though it is quieter today. Friday is traditionally a quiet earnings day. We have the Aussie PPI out already. Later on, we've got some big numbers. We've got German, Eurozone and Canadian GDP out. We've got the US PCE index and consumer confidence out later. So still quite a busy day, even though it's towards the end of the week. Be interesting to see how markets position themselves for next week's earnings. But still, one would consider this at least a medium to high risk market. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye. Obviously, the US yen was, as we've already referenced, uh, was a big story yesterday. You can see this 130 that was breached during yesterday's trading. We did come off our highs. If you look at the overnight session, we hit around about 131 and then have, since then have sort of drifted down back towards 130. There was some suspicion that the Bank of Japan may intervene on this if it hit this level, but it'd be interested to see what happens technically if it breaks through that 130 level. There's 130.17. If we just take that down just to around about 129.95, if we do get some selling, which may initially be profit taking, we could see it move down 100 pips, possibly even, towards 129 dead. For our second chart of the day, we're going to follow up on our chart of the day yesterday on the ASX, which is Whitehaven Coal. We suggested we like this bounce and we saw it close around this 496 level which was suggested was a potentially key technical level. You can see we've had follow through in the session today, despite it being Friday. And just for context, this takes us up to and beyond that $5 high. And that's why we suggested this could be a key level from early 2019. So technically looking very strong. And of course, the fundamental story relating to coal is still very much in play. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.